Problem number nine is not a question about whether or not this graph has a northern path or northern circuit. It is a question about whether or not this string of letters gives an Euler path or an Euler circuit. I can look at the graph on number nine. I see it's connected. I can look at the degrees of the vertices, although I don't really need to for what they're asking me to do. But I'm going to look at that because that's something you should look at. The degree of C is 2. The degree of B is 1, 2, 3, 4. The degree of F is 2. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. E is 2. D, 1, 2, 3, 4. They're all even. With Euler's theorem, this tells me that the graph has an Euler circuit, but Here's the question. Is this string of letters an Euler path or an Euler circuit? Well, I know it's not a circuit. I don't even have to trace through it. How do I know it's not a circuit? It started with C. It would have to end with C. And it doesn't. Let's trace through it and see what we have. Start at C. I'll go to B. I would suggest on your scrap paper, especially when you're taking the test, when you're working at home, draw the picture and trace through it on your paper. Now I was talking and not saying where I'm going with my pen, but I'm following the, gra the string of, of vertices. Stop there when I got to B, I stopped. Does this give an Euler path or an Euler circuit? No. We did not cover every edge. We missed edge DC. Now had they put comma C, it would have been an Euler circuit. Let's see, the path described is an Euler circuit. Because an Euler circuit because it is a, an Euler path that begins and ends at the same vertex. Well, that's just not true. The path described is neither an Euler path nor an Euler circuit because at least one edge is traveled more than once. No, nah, that didn't happen. The path described is an Euler path because every edge is traveled exactly once. That did not happen. The path described is an Euler circuit because it is an Euler path that begins and ends at the, at the different vertices. No. Well, it's neither. Let's see F. The path described is neither an Euler path nor an Euler circuit because not every edge is traveled once. There. I'll go with that one. 